Cold electricity is a term came from the experiment of Nikola Tesla, as you know. And it is a form of electrical energy, harmless to your body and with unique properties. We all know that this term called electricity appears uh, first time uh, in the hairpin circuit of Nikola Tesla. This one. And of course the Tesla coil. A U-shaped uh, copper bar is seated by the sp spark gap. This is the bar and the spark gap. And uh, the cold electricity appears on this bar. It's actually a short circuit and uses high voltage power supply, more than 5 kilovolts. Uh, high voltage capacitors right here. And the spark gap, as I said. Between the bar, we can connect a light bulb, as it's here showing. And uh, that's it, cold electricity appears. The current with, which flows through the shunt, also uh, this bar, finds actually a small resistance, let's say about um, 0.25 to 0.50 ohm maximum. Uh, this video is a demonstration of such a device with a modern electronic components and shows that this type of electricity is harmless. Right here is the device. And uh, of course a solid state design with a circuit diagram explanation. All right, this is the solid state device which consists of a signal generator. I will explain later how it works. A power MOSFET, IRFP 460 at the output. Stabilization for 24 volts. The kick coil, outer coil, which is being charged with energy and give it through these capacitors to the outer coil, which uh, called electricity appears th through these two points. Okay, in this demonstration, I have a bulb here, 200 watt, as you see, this one. I'm turning on the device. And... I'm going to connect to okay these are 200 watts I'm touching the electrodes and nothing happens to me Took. nothing because it's called electricity as you see Nothing happens. Right now I have two bulbs here, 200 watt each one. I'm going to turn it on. I can lead both of them. And this is the connection. You see? I'm touching the electrodes with both of my hands. But the electricity cannot harm me. Just this one. In yes. this experiment, I have a bowl here with water. Uh, water from the water tap. Just wa simple water. And I'm going to connect you the bulb with a device. So, I'm going to touch it yes with my hand. Nothing happens. Ah, here. You can see also in the water with my hands. I'm touching the electrodes and nothing happens to me. Take a good look. 
Nothing. This is called Now electricity. I want to show you the oscilloscope. One, one moment. Yeah. Okay. The violet is the input. The input of the MOSFET right after the generator. And the yellow is the signal at the outer coil here, where the cold electricity appears, right here. This is the probe and the other one. So, see it again. A little bit confused, of course, but that's it. Okay, some goals about the circuit. This is a simple TL494 pulse width modulation chips with uh, internal oscillator with generate pulses uh, where we can control the frequency and the duty cycle of the pulse right here at the output. Another one, a CD4093 quad 2 input NAND Schmidt trigger gate to reverse the pulse from this point. Uh, we can make it then available until 100%. It is very important to work uh, the device properly. The stabilization of 24, 24 volt right here in the diagram. Don't forget the 47 ohm uh, 2 watt um, resistor before the stabilization. It's very important. Otherwise it can be... I don't know, but I had some problems with it without it. It can uh, bend off and um, yeah MOSFET about the coils okay two coils this is the charge coil the key coil the first one this one 10 turns on the 9 centimeter diameter here on the cupboard board just paper nothing else and the other one the same uh, the cable here is thicker it's uh, uh, 3 and 50 350 millimeter as a thicker as this one right here the con the capacitors very important 56 nanofarad at uh, 600 volt and uh, if you want to produce more watt, you can do it. You, uh, I can. Uh, uh, so you have to have an, uh, to find another heatsink bigger and better than this one. Otherwise, the MOSFET cannot be work for a long time. It is very hot here. And uh, don't forget, of course, uh, the TC. 4420 it's just a simple cheap uh, mosfet driver otherwise uh, the pulse is not uh, property to drive it too well it can uh, work without that it can work work out uh, without the ct4093 uh, but it's the matter of the pulses we need pulses uh, with width uh, until 100%. I'm using 85%, but I did it until 99% duty cycle. And of course, I had a very great power at the output. That's it. Very simple. You can do it on your own, at your own risk, of course. But if you follow the instructions here, nothing can be happened. It's a matter of cold electricity. And the power uh, at the output cannot harm you, as I showed you before.